Hi friends, welcome to my channel. This is the second part of the sacrilege portrait. If you miss out the first part, please check in the description for the video link. This part, I am going to cover the two particular landmark. One is the Chandreshwar temple, which is situated in Belur district. And second one is the Bhagavan Bahubali statue in Hassan district. So without any further ado, let's begin. Chandra Kesava Temple or the Chena Kesava Temple is a Hoysala style architecture temple situated in Hassan district, Karnataka, India. It was commissioned by the King Vishnuvardhan of the Hoysala dynasty who came into power in 1110 CE. The Chena Kesava Temple at Belur took 103 years to build. Vishnuvardhan moved his capital from Dwara Samudra where he started the construction of the Vaisaleshwara temple dedicated to Shiva. Its construction continued till he died in 1140 CE. His legacy was continued by his descendants who completed the Vaisaleshwara temple in 1150 CE and the Chinnakesaba temple Somnathapura 1258 CE. The Hoysalas employed many noted architects and artisans for this temple. It completed by 
Our next destination is the Bahubali statue. Bahubali means one with strong arms, a much revered figure among Jains. He was the son of the first Tirthankar of Jainism and the younger brother of Vardata. He is said to have the meditated motionless for one year in a standing posture and that during the time climbing plants grew around his legs. After his year of meditation, Bahubali is said to have attained omniscience, that is Kevala Gyan. The Gomateshwara statue is dedicated to the Jain figure Bahubali. It was built around 983 AD and is one of the largest freestanding statues in the world. The construction of the statue was commissioned by the Ganga dynasty. In 2007, the statue was voted as the first of seven wonders of India. In a Times of India poll, 49% of the total vote went in favor of it. One can have a very beautiful view of the surrounding areas from the top of the hill. An event known as the Mahamastaka Avisheka attracts devotees from all over the world. This particular festival is held once in 12 years, when the Gumateshwara statue is anointed with milk, saffron, ghee, sugarcane juice, etc. from the top of the statue. That is the reason of the statue's freshness. The last time we check happened in 2018 and we are showing that one to you. The next Avishek will be happening in 2030. If you like my video, please click the like button and also subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to stay updated and notified with my new videos. Thank you.